What's up everybody, this is Louie. Before we get into this video, I just wanna say real quick, we are very close to 500 subscribers on YouTube, so be sure to click the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos if you're interested. Uh, and if this video gets, uh, let's say, 30 likes, I'll show you how to take a Pop-Tart selfie. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Today we are gonna be showing, by we, I mean me, I'm gonna be showing you five cool tricks you can do with your MacBook. I'm sorry, that is my watch. Let me put that on Do Not Disturb for you here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, five tricks, right? Five settings that you can do. Um, these are just really useful, and I didn't really know about them until I discovered them by poking around in here. So first of all, you can see that the status bar is white, and all of this down here is white. Um, but if you go into Settings, General, and select Use Dark Mode, you get this great interface. Um, now maybe you don't like the black, maybe you like the white better. Um, and the white is kind of refreshing sometimes, but I prefer the dark theme overall. The only thing I wish it did is I wish it changed the notification center uh, dark as well. Uh, maybe that'll come in a future update. We will see. Okay, that's the first trick. Uh, the second trick is over here in keyboard. So there's lots of cool stuff you can do here. But this is the main thing. Dictation is off by default. Um, but if you just click this to on, and you can even download some the dictation engine sort of thing, and then you can use it uh, offline as well. But it does use Wi-Fi to hear what you're saying. So then how that would work is you just press the function key twice, as it says, and it enables dictation. Um, I don't think it's working right now because I'm recording. Um, yeah, but that's how it works, and it's really nice because I use that on my iPhone all the time, and then you can bring that over uh, to your Mac as well. Okay, so next up, we're going to go into trackpad. Uh, trick number three is tap to click. Now, I use tap to click almost all the time. I used to have a Windows laptop, and I use tap to click more than I use the button. Um, and I'm using a MacBook Air, which means the touchpad does wear out because it's a real button. So you can hear me clicking it here. Um, and you can see I'm clicking on things, but you can also just tap your finger to click on things and it's silent Which is really good if you're like in the same room like in the same bedroom as someone and like you're they're trying to sleep or something and And people or I don't know maybe you have siblings. I Don't know anyway um, with that you can be quiet and save your uh, button and it's just kind of easier I don't know you don't have to press down all the way. And kind of goes hand in hand with that, the whole um, nighttime thing. So if you click your notification center up here and use your two fingers to scroll up, these are the, these are the last two tricks right here. Um, do not disturb, I usually enable when, I, um, when I'm recording a video, but I had it off just so I could do that. It, um, if you notice when I turn it up, you can see it, it grays out the it grays out the notification center button there, which lets you know that it's on. And there's also night shift. Now, I'm not sure if this will um, come through on the recording side of things, but it does the exact same thing as it does on the iPhone. It warms your display. Uh, I love using night shift. Uh, I like it a lot. So that is really useful to be able to bring that over um, from the iPhone side of things. And that's gonna do it for this video. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe the video and just subscribe, subscribe to my channel, sorry, and like the video if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.